Good evening and welcome to the Arabic television variety talk show. I'm Saad Asfour, your host. Mother's Day in the United States comes once a year. It's usually on the second Sunday of May. And this year it's falling on uh, May the 14th, 2017. Nobody was born without mother. One of the responsibilities that mothers have is to produce greatness. Since everyone comes from women, the responsibility will transfer to you. So my message today is simply honor your mother on Mother's Day. Tonight we are celebrating Mother's Day from the bottom of our heart. We say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms all over the world. Tonight our show will be cooking when easy and healthy dishes. Selwa Gamrawi today is our chef will be our guest to make baklava as dessert, tabbouleh as salad, and hummus as appetizer. To show our appreciation to our moms, they've been taking care of us all these years and feeding us. Now it's our turn to say thank you and step in and cook something for them that will make their celebration very special. Thank you to, for coming show to the show of Salwa. Thank you for coming. and. Uh, to be our chef tonight. Good evening, everyone. My name is Salwa Gamrawi, and tonight I'm going to be the chef for our program. And we're going to make uh, healthy dishes, Middle Eastern dishes, and just to honor our moms. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms all over the place, everywhere, especially in the United States, because in the Arabic world, we celebrated Mother's Day like two months ago. It was in March uh, 21st, yes, and in we cel East. in the Middle East, and we celebrated the uh, Children's Day too. So it's the spring, and we celebrate all the beautiful events uh, That's true. on spring. So spring tonight, time. springtime. Yes. Uh, tonight it's a cooking show, special one, just to honor our moms. But I understand before we start cooking, you have to read for us one poem you wrote for mothers. Sure. Right? Sure, yes. I'm glad I remembered. Oh, yes. Uh, it's my pleasure. And it's kind of gift too, because you can give your mom all kinds of gifts. But uh, what better than a poem mm -hmm. just to say how much you love her? Yes. Uh, my mom, you loved me before you even saw me. Your heart beat assured me so. You gave me your love tenderness and soul. You protected me from all kinds of danger. You raised me to be honest, good, compassionate. You helped me through without hesitation. You know me better than anyone, even myself. You shower me with your prayers, blessing me yourself. You are the best gift I've ever received in my life. I couldn't thank you. It would take my whole life. I cannot forget you just like you cannot forget me. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers. That is beautiful. This is one of your most recent poems you wrote yourself. Yeah, this is a brand new one, just written just for moms, especially for this uh, occasion or event. So do you usually write it in Arabic and then translate it in English? Yes, this is usually what happens, but uh, this time I, I wrote it in English, oh, just wow. for tonight. This is sure. amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, so are we ready to start the Okay, let's show? get back to business okay. since it's a cooking show. And I hope you like the dishes we're making because it's all Middle Eastern and, you know, we're from the Middle East. Uh, let's start with baklava. Uh, baklava is... It's a uh, Arabic sweet. It's very common here in the USA, recently becoming very common. And it's, uh, we need a filo dough. 
Uh, and you can find this anywhere nowadays? Uh, in any, in any big, yeah, in any big supermarket, you can find it. And it's very thin, very thin. So we need to cover it because we have dry weather and it's going to dry, dry up. up if we don't cover it. Yeah. So, but before we start it, we need melted butter, okay. uh, unsalted butter. We melt it in uh, the microwave. Like to, we need two sticks for this tray. It's 17 inches by 12, mm -hmm. and this fits perfectly the uh, dough. So we're going to start uh, buttering. First, you, bu you butter the... We butter the tray. Before we put anything. Before we put anything. And it's just time consuming. It's not difficult. It's not hard. It's just you need to be patient. And just, uh, you know, we learn from our moms to be patient. So this is like one of the practice. You could be patient. And uh, just it's time consuming, but not difficult, really. So you can make it for your mom. And uh, I know it's too much calories, but we're not eating it every day. So in, in special occasions, we let ourselves eat it. It's fine and enjoy it. So this is we butter the. Do you have to measure this into the tray or is it already measured? It's already it's measured. Uh, you know, usually you take one by one. But today, because we have not enough time to do so. So we're going to make like every two sheets together, not each okay. one, uh, just to save time because it's time consuming. And I don't think we have enough. Oh, you want to help me out? Go job. ahead. Oh, be my guest. Be my guest. Yeah, that's wonderful. Just all we need is to spread lots of butter over the sheets. And that's it. We're going to make half the sheets down in the bottom. And then we're going to uh, put the filling and the filling is walnut and it's uh, We crack it we put it in the food processor uh, processor and we make it small uh, We add sugar to it. So we're gonna get one more. Okay. One more layer one more if layer But watch out for your sleeves. It's okay, your Your shirt is beautiful. So don't ruin Thank it with you. butter. Thank you. Yeah, and the color looks so good on you Okay, okay. So you look bl good in blue too. Thanks, thanks. We're mothers too. Happy mothers. Thank you. Happy Day mothers to you. Too, too. We yeah, we're both mothers, and uh, we're enjoying this uh, show. Great. Of course, baklava is one of my favorite desserts. If I had known that you're gonna help me, I would bring another uh, brush. That's okay. So, okay. Uh, so this baklava is really uh, you know it's an old old sweet and it's very famous it started in turkey they started to do it but then you know it spreads all over the middle east and it's it's uh, very traditional and and very yummy and uh, it has many y many kinds of baklava but this is the easiest one like the one you could make at home mm -hmm. so this is very popular all over the world now you know yeah it is very popular and uh, we can make it at home. It's not that difficult. It's just time consuming. You need to be patient and it's tricky because this sheet, they stick together mm -hmm. and you need to separate them. So you need all your they dry skill. Fast. They dry fast, but it's okay if they, you know, crack a little bit. Uh, it's okay. We can fix this. We'll put another layer over it and we can fix mm -hmm. it. Cover this so it won't dry. Yes, but we're going to use it right away. <laughs> so it's, you know what I, I would do? I would just s peek on these and just make like this. Okay. And that's just, you know, take one after one. Okay. Let's take all of these. Does it have to be uh, the bottom thicker than the top? Like, do you put uh, more in the bottom? than? I the usually I do half. Half, half, half in the bottom, half on the because top. Because like when I eat it, you know, when we uh -huh. get it from uh, uh, You feel it's the bottom you is... You feel like the bottom, bottom is much thicker and more uh, smashed into more butter in it. Hmm. So okay. you put the same exact amount on top uh, and the bottom. Yeah. Okay. You know, some people, they do two-thirds of it in the bottom, and uh, they do the, th the other third on the top. Okay. It's up to you. It's whatever it works for you. Uh, I hope we don't run out of uh, butter. But we'll uh, that's good enough. Yeah, we'll be fine. So now it's time for the filling. The filling is walnut. It's like you ne we need for this tray, you need like a pound and a half 
uh, of walnut. One and a half pound. One and a half pound, you put it in the food processor and you ground it to this uh, What do you shape. add to the walnut? I added like one cup of sugar mm -hmm. and little bit roses water, little bit uh, blossom water. And this you can find in any Middle Eastern. Um, you don't put cinnamon or nutmeg or anything? Uh, some people they do. You know, it's a personal choice and taste. Some people, they, but this is the original. But okay. what about the sugar? Is it white or brown? Uh, uh, you could use uh, brown, but Either I one. use yeah, but I use white. So you could use brown too, if it, maybe it sounds healthier. Mm -hmm. But it won't change the taste. Right. So we're gonna. You can help me just spread this. You could use your hands just to make it even. We can spread it like evenly. We need to spread it all over the sheet uh, evenly. And then we need to do the same to finish all the layers we have. So this is has again roses water, like fourth of cup, and blossom water, and then one cup of sugar, mm. any kind of sugar. It smells yummy. Yeah, the roses water smells really good. So all you need to do is just spread it evenly. Uh, we need to cover the whole tray. Some people like too many or too much of it. They like it thick. Some people like it very thin. But it's still, it's a personal this taste. This is good, like that. Yeah, I guess. We're good like this. We this is what you usually use, one pound and a half of walnuts. Can you use other nuts as well? Or yeah, do you, you consist yeah, you of walnuts? No, no, you could replace the walnut. If you're allergic to walnut, you could use the uh, pistachios. Like I like pecans. You could use pecans. It's very, very yummy. And actually, it's more tasty than walnut. Mm -hmm. And it's some people like really like pecans. Can mix of pecan or you could do mix. You could do mix. You could do pistachios. So you could do any kind of filling. It doesn't matter really. Yeah, the pistachio is also very popular. Yeah, and it's yummy, but it's lighter than this. But the yummy, the more tastiest one is walnut to me. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the original. Let's see. We're done here. And I heard that if you eat a lot of walnuts, it's good for the memory. Yeah, it's for, for uh, your brain and it has the, the good fat. So mm -hmm. it's wonderful. Uh, walnut is wonderful too. Yes. So it's your choice. And you see you have lots of choices. It's up to you what you decide to do. So here we go again. You see, sorry. You see it's very tricky because you sometimes you get one very cracked and we can fix it. It's not a problem at all. If you get used to it, so you could fix anything now. Saad is my helper tonight. How about um, it, Saad? How well do you I'm feel about you it? eat <laughs> when it's done. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Sounds I'm hungry good. right now. Uh, when we finish, we're going to, since we don't have oven here and we don't have stove, we will just cut it and we, we will so cut we will it. take this home and bake it, but we already brought one is already yeah. baked. I already baked one, and I'm going to show you how it's going to look alike. Bravo. Uh, so we're on time. 15 minutes is over. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. You could do fast. And even if we don't have time, we don't have to uh, cut it. So you will not use the rest. This is will not be used. Do you think we have time to cut it? To cut uh, it? Uh, you can cut it the way you want you it. Can Small pieces. Uh, uh, because we still have the tabbouleh, the salad, right. and so we still have the hummus. Since we have to do other uh, dishes, we're not going to spend a lot of time cutting this. Yeah. But she will start just one just to show you, yeah. just one slice, and then uh, the rest will be exactly the same. So, so what she did is she wet the knife in the water, and she's going to cut it ease. in squares. Oh, sorry. And when it's done, it's going to look like... Something we'll show you right now. So we're not going to finish all of it. You could do like this. Okay. You know, the size you want it. Some people like it big, some people like it small. But really, medium size is the best. And you could do like this. So you keep going till and you finish um, the whole. It could be also cut in diamond shape. Yeah, any sh any shape you like, okay. any shape you like. So and this always is done. put butter all over on then the top at the end. You preheat your you oven uh, okay. uh, at 350, and you bake it for 40 minutes, 45 minutes till you get the golden look. Let's color. get the, the one that's finished to okay, show them how it's going to look. Okay, we can show them. Look. 
Let me take this away. So, so this, this is, is the baklava. It's done. Um, Selva, you got to tell us what age you start cooking because I understand you're a very good cook and all your food is good and delicious. So you've been trained as you start... Uh, you know, As a young girl or your mom? No, I watched. Uh, no, I started actually when I got married. I, mo uh, I moved to the USA. So this is how it looks like when it's done. Exactly. She put some pistachio nuts you on the top. For garnishing, you could garnish it with anything, but pistachio, it looks so good on it. And this is the final look. It's going to look like this. Mm. I forgot. When you take it out, after it gets the, this color, you take it out of the oven, you pour uh, honey over it in the line just to get inside. So you shower it with honey, and then you decorate, you garnish it, whatever you it want. It could be honey. It could be the homemade syrup or a mix of both. It could be a mix of both. It could be the syrup, but it's easier for people, the honey, because the honey. it's already made. Uh, made and it's healthier. And it's good. So this is the final look. Thank now, you so much. We're going to move to our next item. Ne our next item is hummus. You know, hummus is becoming very popular in the USA recently, the last few years. Everybody loves hummus. You find mm -hmm. it everywhere colored and, and all, uh, but we're going to make the original one. All we need is a food processor. So we processor. got the garbanzo beans out it's of a can, mm -hmm. and this has been washed in a regular water. Uh -huh. Sometimes you can boil it as well. Yes, it's so true. Just, it depends uh, on your preference. If it's you like true. to wash it or boil it first, you can do that. Some people, they cook it as is. They get it out of the can, and they put it in here. It's true. So this is the garbanzo beans. You want to do both cups? Yeah, it's two cans. So this is two cans. Okay. All you need is uh, garlic, two gloves of garlic, big one, small one. It's up to you, whatever you like. And, and garlic is healthy. Doesn't hurt to have extra. Yeah. Garlic is a natural antibiotic. So, and little bit salt. It's up to you. I love little bit salt. That's it. And then the tahini. And there's a lemon juice already made. This uh -huh. is a uh, fresh lemon. This is fresh lemon <laughs> from my tree. I know you have two trees, so um, I assume yeah, this, this is, is fresh, fresh one. Uh, we need like cup of a uh, lemon juice and cup of tahini. Tahini is, you find it in Middle Eastern stores mm -hmm. and it's really Ten popular. Minutes. It's sure. in everywhere. You put the whole thing? Uh, it's like one cup. I'm gonna, not gonna put everything. It's like yeah, most it of it. Like too much. Most of it. And okay. uh, we need to shake the lemon juice. So we're going to put like, uh, mm. then we'll see. Now we can all the time modify it. Any water? Uh, no, not okay. really. Not now. We'll see. It's a bit closed. Okay. It takes a few minutes to make hummus. It's very healthy and it's easy to make and kids love it. And you could use it as a, a side dish, appetizer, with chips, with a dip. Can you keep pushing? So maybe we need more of the lemon juice. Some people like it runny, some people like it uh, thick. So it's up to you, the texture. So I understand some people, they like to add uh, cumin to that. You How do you feel about that? I don't do mind. Like it? I don't mind, no, I don't add it. This is the original, so okay. I don't add anything. So you're sauce. just showing us the original recipe of doing it, yeah. going back to basics. It's like the uh, baklava. Everything here is original. Okay. It's the way we make it back home, and we make it at home too. It's different from the stores one too. Okay. So, this is really okay. You could add a little bit uh, water to it. You could add more uh, lemon juice. And it's it's uh, a personal taste. And you put some olive oil uh, on top. On that, on top. Some people don't. Some people they do. Well, if, if you like it, like uh, that. makes Mediterranean food very healthy. Is yeah, we use lots of, of olive, uh, olive oil, oil on the top of it. Yes, yes, yes. Very healthy. Okay, so perfect. 
this is our hummus. It looks thick, but it looks yummy. And it's, it tastes yummy too, if you like to taste it. It's really good. Okay. We're done with the hummus. We need to garnish it, but I don't know if we have enough time because we still have the tabbouleh to make. So uh, what do you think? Uh, we can garnish this with a little parsley on top, yeah. with paprika. Yeah, we have, we have oil. all of it. We have all of it here. It's all your preference, what you like. Okay. Now let's move to our next dish, which is the tabbouleh. So you don't need this anymore? I don't need this anymore. We can take it out of the table. And this. And this. Oh, sorry. And this. All right. Okay. But you'll have to excuse us. It's a small space. And this is the very first show we do cooking. And we're not used to this area doing the cooking show. So hopefully next time in the future shows, we'll expand and have bigger tables. Okay. Can you please? Okay. This is... A tabbouleh. Let's move this from here. Then we're we can put everything at the end. Okay. How about that? Bring it back at the end. We'll bring it back. We promise. So let's take this aside. All right. Now we're getting to tabbouleh. Tabbouleh is made out of parsley. You cut parsley. Um, you wash parsley and then you drain it and then you dry it out and then you make it into small bunches and you chop it. Chopping, chopping, chopping. You don't have to do it that fine the way I do. And tonight I'm not gonna make it very, very fine because we don't have any time to do it. But just I'm gonna show you. Uh, you could go smaller than this. You can go bigger than this. It's, it's up to you. Uh, so we we'll chop parsley in very fine way. That's really good. Okay. Good. She's fast. I hope you so. I hope so. We don't have much time, so um, I feel in the <laughs> pressure. <laughs> I wish we had more time so we can do it uh, more professionally and more uh, uh, more I don't know, in a better way, but we're trying our best with this very short time. So, so this is the parsley. Then uh, I need to get the green onion. It's at the table. And I'm far away. we'll cut the tomatoes here. We'll cut the tomatoes in a small chop, chopping, chopping the same way. So everything, uh, in the old days, they used to cut it very, very fine. So if they see me right now, they'll be so upset with That's me. That's okay. Some people, they don't like it very fine either. This is good size. Uh, this is okay, I guess. When I make it home, it's different. I make it in a, looks and way this better. Uh, this tabbouleh is very popular in Lebanon and the whole Middle East. Yeah, it's, it's Lebanese food. It's basically. a Lebanese, the, f the most famous Lebanese salad and it's very healthy with very yummy because tomatoes are very and parsley are very very yummy so we're gonna cut tomatoes it'd be nice if we had uh, tabbouleh and kubbe and some ara oh it would be great you know on sundays in lebanon they they go to church in the morning they, then they come back and they put they make a table and tabbouleh is the first uh, to be dish to be we cannot have a you know sunday lunch with no tabbouleh so so this is a must, basically. It's a must. It's a must. And it's, it's a must at it's any Lebanese table, any Lebanese hold house. I make it like twice in my house. My kids love tabbouleh. And it's very, very healthy. Even the, the, when you mix it, it's olive oil, lemon juice, and salt, and nothing else, some pe black pepper. What are uh, the most popular uh, Mediterranean food kids like? Uh, they like hummus. Hummus? They, they like kibbe. And the what about like hamburger? We eat here hamburger uh, in Lebanon. What do they eat? We make our hamburger. It's similar to this Arab one. Arabic hamburger meat. Arabic ham hamburger, but it's way healthier. 
So, and uh, I would I guess think uh, you, as you add the onion and the parsley to the hamburger. Yes, and yes, uh, yes. And it's very healthy. It's, it's homemade. So now we're going to add the, it's, uh, let me get the, okay, let me get the, okay. I'm getting the rest of the tabbouleh, which is green onion. We chop it small, small, small too. Green onion, bunch of it, and little bit uh, mint. Mint. Na na. Na na. And this mint is from my uh, backyard. My backyard. I can tell yeah. it's fresh. Can you pick them for mm -hmm. me, like? Atfil yon soad. Sure, sure. Okay, I'll do this. Okay. How much time we have? Two minutes. Two minutes? We're gonna have to go flying fast. That's it, that's it. This is a race. No, we're racing with time. Uh, How much nana do you use? Do you have to use a certain amount, like half a cup or a uh, little or bit this amount? No, a bunch, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. These are Not enough. Not that much. Not that's that enough, much. So it that's to enough. Do the rest. This is a crack wheat, and we wash it, and we stag it. So this is crack it's wheat. It's already soft. It's already soft, soft in it, okay. Now we need the lemon juice and olive oil. That's it, we're gonna mix it. Okay. We're done with tabbouleh. This Lots is the fresh lemon, lemon juice. juice. Uh-huh, fresh lemon juice and olive oil. And we need to mix it and that's it. We're done with tabbouleh. We can bring the rest to make the table or if we have time, I don't know if we do. Oh, we should be okay. We should be okay. Okay, can you mix the tabbouleh? I'll, I'll, take, it while you take, this I'll take this away. And so we, we didn't and have any this time. Is one, this is just example of a tabbouleh, a yeah. small dish. Okay, this is what see. we eat with tabbouleh. We eat uh, grape leaves uh, and we eat, this is the baklava. Kubinia. And so uh, these are the most popular yes, dishes yes. in the Middle East. Yes. Let's get the hummus. Again, this is the dessert baklava. Oh, Frank is getting excited. He thinks he's going to eat some. Okay. <laughs> this is the hummus. <laughs> and, uh, okay. And the hummus, I'm just going to garnish it a little bit like that. You can garnish it with a little bit parsley. Oh, we forgot and the roses. And one way to eat tabbouleh, this is how I eat it myself. Yeah, we eat it with... Uh, I get uh, the, the Roman lettuce and I put it like this and I can eat it. For Mother's Day? Yes. Uh, we got roses. I hope uh, somebody learned from this, this healthy and delightful food. And uh, this is for Happy Mother's Day for all the mothers, for all the young children, to, they can make this for their mom to honor Mother's Day and to honor their own mom. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, uh, Selwa. Uh, we didn't have time to put we it in a nice... Uh, sorry, we did not have extra time to make it fancier than this. Yeah. But uh, you did an amazing job. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for watching us and please follow us. We'll be showing you more dishes to learn from. To we'll cook eat at it. Home. With lettuce, this Homemade is the, the, is the best. Lebanese way to eat it. Thank you for watching us. Good night. See you Thank next you. time. Good night.